guys, welcome back to the off grid garage mystery. Yeah, this could be the beginning of a whole new series here in the off grid garage. There is something going on, and I cannot find out what it is. Let me show you. So these are the two charge controllers, as you know. Left is west roof, the right one is east roof. And we have now 20 to 9 p.m. It is pitch black outside. This is the tiny bit of moon we have at the moment. Some stars. And that's pretty much it. As you can see here from the solar charge controller, we are currently measuring 40 volts on the PV side. 40 volts. If we go into the VRM, you can see the same. East roof 0 0.37 volts, west roof 40.7 volts. So according to the VRM, we have 40 volts here on the PV input of this charge controller. I'm measuring the voltage on this charge controller, 40 volts. I'm measuring the voltage on the other charge controller, 0 0.4. Going to the west roof again. 40 volts. We've got 40 volts on the charge controller. So, obviously, we have 40 volts here, right? Okay, here is our combiner box, and you can still see the 40 volts on our charge controller, right? So, we've got string number one, positive, negative, string number two, positive, negative, and string number three, positive, negative and they're all in parallel. I've got no blocking diodes inside, nothing. Exactly the same setup as our east roof over there. Exactly the same. Okay, watch the voltage on the solar charge controller. If I pull the positive of any of these strings, let's take string number one. I just pull the positive. Nothing happens, right? I pull the positive of string number two. Nothing happens. I pull the positive of string number three. Nothing happens. I still have 44 volts on my solar charge controllers. I pull the negative of string number one. Bang! Voltage is gone. Something is going on with string number one, right? Okay, let's put this back in. <gasps> I've got voltage again. Okay, negative string number two. Voltage gone, 1.3 volts only. I put this back in. 44 volts again, 45. String number three, negative, gone. I put negative string number three back in. 44 volts. Okay, everything is connected again. I pull negative string number one. Voltage gone. And now you can see something. The voltage is gone altogether. We've got 1.4 volts only. To get the 45 volts back, I just need to pull one of the positives. There we go. 42 volts again. Negative string number three. Gone. Voltage is gone until I pull one of the positives. At least two. There, it's back. It's back. Negative string number two. Gone. 
0.66 volts. Put it back in. 1.3, which is still higher than the east roof. And then positive and another positive. String number two positive. There it is. Okay, I have now opened the combiner box here. We can see we have got still 30, 40 volts. And let's measure the solar panels directly here, the strings. So first string says 40 volts. Second string says 40 volts. Third string says the same because they're all in parallel, right? Okay, let's disconnect string number one, just the positive. We still have 40 volts on the solar charge controller and we measure the voltage again here directly on the string and we've got 0 0.3 volts on this string. Cool. Okay. Positive string number two open and we've got an open voltage, open circuit voltage of 0 0.78 volts. There. But the solar charge controller still measures 44. Go in there. Okay, string number three. Circuit is open and the voltage is 0 0.26 volts. But we are still measuring 40 volts on the solar charge controller. So none of these strings has actually any voltage apart from the 0 0.2, which you always have during the night. But the charge controller thinks it is 40 volts and I have 40 volts here on the bus bar at the top. There we go. 40 volts. I can measure it. Okay, I've got the polarity wrong. There we go. 40 volts. Okay, now watch this. <laughs> the mystery continues. So obviously we've got the bus bar up here negative and positive which is 40 volts at the moment, as the solar charge controller says, as we have confirmed multiple times with the multimeter. I've got a resistor here, 330 ohms, fairly low value resistor. And I put this across the positive and negative of the solar panels, right? Watch the voltage on the solar charge controller. Bang, voltage gone. I take the resistor off. There's still 1.3 volt, which is still double the voltage as on the other controller. Okay, to get the voltage back, let's open one of the circuits. Let's open two of the circuits. There we go, it's back. I'll take the resistor again. Zero. Hey, it comes back autumn immediately. Resistor on. Resistor off, on, off. So all three circuits are now disconnected. They are turned off. I've got the positive fuse out. There's no, no circuit anymore on the solar, but we are still measuring 44 volts. Yeah, resistor, voltage gone. There's the voltage again. Resistor, gone. And there's the voltage again. How is this possible? And here, I'll show you something. When we go back in the VRM, we go to advanced. Okay, so here on the screen, you can see the east roof, which doesn't have this weird behavior where the voltage drops at night and then goes down. This is at, there you go, at seven o'clock. At 7 p.m. we still have about 18 volts, while the other one at the same time has 40 volts. And you can see the curve here, how the curve stays up, and this is our testing now, up and down, up and down. But the voltage stays all the way 40 volts all the time. Okay, let's have a look at yesterday. Again, east roof, curve goes down, that is about yeah, 10 to 7, 7 o'clock, 18 volts, while the other one at 
seven o'clock is at 44 volts. And then you can see it is staying there. That was my testing yesterday. And then the voltage goes up again, 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 again. And if we go back to today and see what happens during the night, there you can see the voltage going down. And then it ripples pretty much over there between one volts and we've got up to one volts while the other one has 0 0.2 only the east roof yeah guys this is what i have since i have connected the solar charge controller here i i don't know what's going on here i thought there was some kind of induction happening over there because there's power lines running see the the big pipe there this is our solar and the other ones are 240 volts but well we are the offline garage everything is disconnected at the moment there's no power at all nothing zero power here in the garage zero ac nothing but still we have 40 volts dc which we can measure on these terminals and i don't know both charge controllers are exactly the same. They've got the same firmware. They've got the same values, the same settings. Everything is the same apart from this weird behavior. So the only thing what I haven't tried is yet to actually swap them over. Have the west roof controller connected to the east roof solar panels and see if this controller does exactly the same as the other one. Is there something with the solar panels or is this just a virtual voltage which we can actually measure and will this controller have the same weird behavior on the other side with the other solar panels or maybe not i'm lost or maybe this one is just fucked. it can be broken it can be faulty right i cannot change over the solar cables because these ones would be too short so I have to change the whole solar charge controllers to see what is going on. I did some research on the community forum, Victron community forum, and I could find some similar stuff, but people had only like seven, eight, 10 volts or something. But then it turned out there was like street lighting or, or similar stuff shining on the solar panels and give you the 10 volts then. But here in the bush, there's no street lighting. There's not even a street here. So this is the weird behavior I'm seeing now since I installed the other solar charge controller. And I think it is somehow faulty because as you have seen, I have disconnected all the circuits on the roof, positive side, and we are still measuring 40 volts. I mean, where's this 40 volt coming from, right? Where is it coming from? If I go into our isolator here and turn off the isolator, so disconnect the whole solar input, the charge controller goes to zero. And I cannot measure anything on the other side. There's like 0 0.5 volts or something, which is all our solar panels in parallel. But as soon as I put them in again, I can measure the 40 volts on both sides. And you can, and you have seen even in the combiner box, we had the 40 volts in the pitch black night show. So, Guys, yeah, I'm keen to hear what you are saying about this weird stuff going on here in the off-grid garage. It is a bit spooky, right? And I will do the test tomorrow. I change both charge controllers over and do another video then, which comes out at some stage this week. So guys, I'm really keen to read what you are going to say about the mystery here in the off-grid garage. Faulty solar charge controller, or spooky, ghosty stuff going on here. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for all your support. And I'm not making this shit up here. It is real. <laughs> I've got no idea what is going on. <laughs> and thank you so much for watching, guys. <laughs> you stay charged and you stay charged and safe. And thanks again for watching. See you in the next one. See you then. Bye bye, whatever I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I've got the link to my VRM down in the video description. So go there, have a look at the curves. In the middle of the night, 40 volts on the solar charge controller.
and I just wanted to turn off the blue eddy and there's a frog. Hey froggy, what are you doing here on the lawnmower? Come on, go outside. No, no, go outside. Don't go in there. There's the battery in there. No, don't, don't, don't. Come on. No, 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 don't. Go outside. Come on, play outside. That's good. All right, have a good night.